He was best known as the author of Where the Red Fern Grows and Summer of the Monkeys. Woodrow Wilson Rawls was a Cherokee Nation citizen who wrote stories based on his childhood, growing up in the hills of northeastern Oklahoma around the Illinois River. As there was no school in his community of Scraper, Oklahoma, Woody, as he was known, was educated at home by his mother. As in Where the Red Fern Grows, Rawls' grandparents owned a small general store. Hey, Billy! And his grandmother would order books for the children. Jack London's Call of the Wild was the book that Rawls would cite as his influence in becoming an author. He wanted to write adventure stories like that, about dogs in the outdoors, for boys like himself. And so he would practice writing on the riverbank and tell the stories to his coon dog, Rowdy. Anything I could hear, I'd try in the only way I could to describe what I'd heard with that stick in the sand. To this day, you can find those sandbar words all through these stories. As a young man, Wilson Rawls wrote Where the Red Fern Grows and many other stories. But since he was mostly uneducated, he couldn't spell or punctuate and ended up burning all of his manuscripts out of frustration. It wasn't until he married his wife, Sophie, that she convinced him to rewrite his stories. With Sophie's help, Rawls rewrote Where the Red Fern Grows completely from memory and published it in 1961. It originally appeared in three parts in the Saturday Evening Post as The Hounds of Youth. The book quickly became a favorite among school teachers and children alike, and Rawls followed that success with his second novel, Summer of the Monkeys, in 1976. Though it took him most of his life, Rawls accomplished his dream of writing children's novels about animals in the outdoors. Woodrow Wilson Rawls died in 1984, after spending his last years visiting thousands of schools, speaking to school children all over the country.